Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Spectrum Classes. In continuation of our previous video that is RS configuration, this is part 2 and in this video we are going to discuss about the RS configuration for the compounds which are represented in the form of flying wedge structure. So here is the flying wedge structure. Here this solid wedge is represented over here and these are the dashed wedge which are represented over here by the dashed line. Okay, so this solid wedge, it represents that the group which is attached with this is pointing towards the viewer. However, this dashed wedge represents that the atom or the group which is attached with this line, wedge line, that is pointed away from the viewer. Okay, so this point needs to be considered while we are writing the RS configuration for the flying wedge structures. So why it is important? Because every time we do not have the Fisher projections for a given compound. So it is easy to write the RS configuration in this structure form as well. Here I am having an example. So this is shown over here. So two lines which are simply drawn over here are in the plane of the paper whereas this solid wedge line is pointing towards my side and this dashed wedge is pointing away from my side that is behind the screen. Uh, one thing which you need to remember always while writing the RS configuration for such type of molecules that the dashed line group or atom is always considered on the vertical line. It is our fourth priority group or it is any of the group that is considered on the vertical line. So let's start with the assigning RS configuration. The group which is attached with this dashed line is S or the fourth priority group. Then the clockwise rotation of rest of the groups or atoms then we will get the R as we discussed earlier in our previous video. So same concept we will apply here. This is the 2 butanol 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, 4 carbon chain. On the second position, it is having the OH group. Here, what, what you can see? On the delayed wedge, you are having OH. Whereas, in this image, on the dashed wedge, you are having the OH. So, we have made one interchange in both of the molecules. Or these are the enantiomers. Right? How we are going to write or assign the RS configuration for these two molecules. The group or the atom which is attached with this dash line is simply if it is fourth priority group then do not show over here. So first we will decide the priority according to the can in low pre -log sequence. So uh, the first rule decide by their atomic number. So, oxygen is having more atomic number as compared to the carbon carbon. So, this will get the first priority over here. And here you are having ethyl. So, ethyl carbon attached with another carbon. So, this will get the second priority. Here only carbon which is attached with the three hydrogen. So, this is get third priority. This is my fourth priority group. So, I have not shown it over here. So, this is moving in the anti-clockwise direction. And as I said earlier that this is considered on the vertical line. So, if we are having this on vertical line and anti-clockwise rotation, then that is designated as S. So, this RS configuration while writing the nomenclature, this represented or this is written in the brackets and separated from the IUPAC name of the molecule by a dash or hyphen. Right, so in this way we have the RS nomenclature for the given compound. Now, if we are considering this, so we have interchanged the position. So, on one interchange we change the configuration. So, if it is S, then we will get, S. let us see how it is going to be happening. If our fourth priority group, as this is my fourth priority group, as we have decided from here. So, if it is on the a solid wedge then there are two ways let us discuss one by one so suppose you are a viewer and you are standing at this side you are seeing this image from this side so if you are standing this side then you are viewing this so this dash becomes the 
solid okay and this is away from your side so this becomes dash so when you are standing on that side so uh, your ethyl group will be on the right hand side so here this is oh and your ethyl is on the right hand side if you are viewing this picture from that side okay and this methyl group is on your left hand side so this is representation here if we are seeing this image from this side okay so in this manner what we are doing one two three and this is the clockwise rotation so we get r this is the one way how one can decide the rs configuration and the second way if you don't want to do this kind of exercise then simply do this one two and three okay so one two three rotate it so this is anti-clockwise anti-clockwise means you are having s but at the same time your fourth priority group is not on the vertical line because it is on the dashed line so this is not on the vertical line so you won't get s you have to make one interchange so you will get r so in either way which is you find easy you can draw or you can assign the configuration for your given molecule and now let's start with the some other examples so here first decide the priority so while seeing this image i am just decide the priority this is my first priority group this is my second priority group as we discussed in the previous video it is my third priority group and it is my fourth priority group corresponding to this wedge image my fourth priority group is not on the backward side okay or not on the vertical line so the image what i get by the rotation is clockwise okay so clockwise means i am getting the r clockwise rotation in this way but my four is not on the vertical line so i will get i have to make one interchange i will get the s okay now, now we are come to the second point here this is my first group second group and this is my third priority group so here the this dash line is on the wedge so it is on the vertical line fine so i am having r my r configuration now next come to this point this is my first priority group this is my second priority group because f is having more atomic number than the oxygen so this is my third priority group and this is my fourth priority group so my fourth priority group is not on the dash line okay so fourth priority group is not on the dash line now rotate this so this is my clockwise rotation so clockwise by clockwise rotation i will get r but my 4 is not on the vertical line so i have to make one interchange so i will get s next we are having this compound okay so here how we are going to decide first if, if there is a molecule which have more than uh, one chiral centers then first we have to decide the chiral centers so here is my chiral center 1 2 3 okay how we are decide this these numbers so this is on the priority basis since bromine is having priority over chlorine and fluorine so this will given one number one now for this carbon we are going to decide so in the ring compounds if we are starting from this to this side then up to this number we have to count okay so in this manner we have to decide the priority so this is my first priority group and now whether this is the first priority group second priority group or this is the my second priority group so here since chlorine is there so this will get the second priority and this will get the third priority now this is my fourth priority group and which is on the dash line so that i consider on the line now i will rotate simply so i will get r so this is my clockwise rotation so i will get r for the first similarly you can try for three and five carbon Okay, so I will leave it over here. If you are having this type of molecule, so here only three groups are shown. So if this, such type of three groups are shown, it means the fourth one is hydrogen and which is not shown over here. And that is considered on the dashed wedge. Okay, so now first decide the priority for these given groups. So this will my first priority group, second priority group and third priority group. This will rotate by clockwise direction and since my fourth is on the dashed wedge so i will get r the next example is so here one may get confused so this is my first priority group now this is my carbon and this is attached with the two hydrogens but this carbon is attached with three oxygens three oxygens why 
because this is double bonded and then this double bonded oxygen is considered as two oxygens attached with the carbon atom now this is my s so which will get the priority this or this since it is attached with this third this carbon with third position attached with the sulfur atom and this carbon attached with all three oxygen atoms so this sulfur will get the priority so this will get the second priority and this will get the third priority so this is important okay so now now rotated by uh, one two three priority groups so i will get clockwise rotation okay so clockwise rotation and the third group fourth group is not shown over here that is considered as dashed h so that is on the vertical line so i will get r for this for this carbon right and these are the priority orders for the uh, substituent group now here in this case let us decide the priority for this carbon okay so this will my first priority group this is my second priority group just because of this oxygen and this is my third priority group now fourth one is not shown over here so that is by default considered as this so this is 1 2 3 so r will be the configuration and this this half part of the molecule is just drawn is the mirror image so it will be s so you can draw this and assign the configuration by yours this is my next molecule so here this fourth is shown over here and we are going to decide for this so this will be my first priority group this will be my second priority group this is my third priority group and this is fourth since this is on the dash wise so i will consider it here now we will move so this will anti clock so this will be s now come to this molecule so here this is my first priority group this is my second priority group this is my third priority group and fourth fourth is on my dashed wedge so i will consider it like this so here in this case this is clockwise so r here it is given now we are having some more examples so here in this case this is let us decide for this carbon okay so this is my first priority group this is my second priority group this is my third priority group and the fourth one is my h but this cl is on the dashed wedge and therefore i have to consider this cl on the vertical line so my four i have to make one interchange while i am deciding so this is my r like clockwise rotation but my four is not on the vertical line so i have to make one interchange so i will get s similarly you can decide for this this is my 1 2 and 3 but here in this case my fourth priority group is on the dash wedge right so my fourth priority group is on the vertical line so i am getting the anti clockwise rotation so anti clockwise rotation so this is my s now if you are having such type of molecule which have more uh, chiral centers and in the ring compounds how we are going to decide so in this way one has to decide the priority so here if i am assigning the configuration for this carbon and in this way i have to consider this one group at this carbon so from here to here itself and on the other hand we are considering the same in the opposite side so from we started from this carbon and we are moving 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 this up to this dash line so in this way one has to decide the priority according in the ring compounds so let us decide for this carbon this one so which will get the first priority here it is my carbon only which is attached with three hydrogens here is my carbon which is attached carbon again carbon but here is my oxygen so this will get first priority this is get second priority and this is get third priority and this is on the dashed wedge so my four is not on the vertical line okay so now move this so this is my anti clockwise anti clockwise so anti clockwise but four is not over there so i have to make one change so i will get r similarly you can decide for other carbons for this carbon i just want to show you how we are going to because if we move carbon 1 carbon 2 and oxygen again carbon 1 carbon 2 and oxygen so how we are going to decide the priority since in the first carbon both are same this carbon is attached another carbon and this carbon this carbon is attached carbon and another carbon but here is the carbon which is attached with two hydrogens 
so this will get the priority so here this is my first priority group this is my second priority group and this is my third priority group and my fourth uh, group is not shown over here so that is on the vertical line okay so here one two and three anti-clockwise rotation so anti-clockwise gives me s so this is my s in this way you can assign the configuration for other carbons also. I hope you understand the concept of this assigning RS configuration for the flying wedge structures. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you all.